Hey guys, um, just making my little milestone video working on my irrigation code. This is a very simple code. Most people in Arduino will go, oh, it's so simple. But I use ChatGDP to get my initial code going. Uh, a couple of interesting points. Uh, first one was I noticed it wasn't connecting to my house Wi-Fi. Don't know why. I ran my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, I put those details in. And then I found it worked just fine. Um, now, okay, so what I want to show you was uh, when it was giving me the time back from the network, it was out by 10 hours. So I Googled time zones and, and then I asked ChatGDP about it. And ChatGDP said, well, maybe you should um, factor in the time zones and you can use this bit of code here. So it gave me this bit of code, which I changed to suit my time zone, and I put this line of code in here. This was the original code here. Uh, so it wasn't incorrect in its original answer. It didn't know I was in Australia. It based it on time zone of the uh, international date line. So it still gave a legitimate answer. Now I just want to quickly show you my little hardware setup. So here's the ESP32. Uh, here's my relay and my little power supply board. So we've got 5 volts on this side, 3.3 volts on this side. And what I was founding was the digital output was not driving this uh, relay. Uh, the relay would just stay on whether it had 3.3 volts on it or 0 volts. And I realized it has to be pulled up to 5 volt rail to turn off. And then from 3.3 volts to ground to 0 volts, it would turn on. So by using the opto isolator, again, I googled chat GTP how to do this and it explained to me what to do. And I got a um, circuit uh, off the internet to do this as well. So there's my opto isolator. Um, we've got a 330 ohm resistor just to limit the current through the uh, input side of that opto isolator. And on the output, we've got a 5K resistor. So basically, it's a pull up situation. The VIN on the controller on the relay is going to the 5K pull-up resistor pulling up to the 5 volts. So when this conducts, it pulls that point down low to ground and then it turns that relay on. And that circuit works really well. So I just enjoy giving little updates and this is good for me too, so I remember. Incidentally, the ESP32 board is actually too wide to fit properly on a single um, prototyping board. So what I've done is I've attached some burrow board underneath and then added a second row of pins that are closer spaced so I can fit in some I.O. on the side here. Uh, so that's how I modified that. So this will be my test, my test board for programming. And then I'll download the code onto another ESP32 for the, uh, the on-site application.